Hey Dio, welcome back to Coding Stuff. So this is the first part of our Todo app tutorial and in this video we are going to prepare our layout for entire application. So I have created one empty project here and I have named it as a Todo app. So first we are going to add some colors in our values colors. So I'm going to change this color to to hash 192 capital A 56 and I'm going to change this color also. So this will be 0 capital A 3 capital D 62 and I'm going to copy this color and will paste it over here. So control V and I'm going to duplicate this one and will change its name to color white. So capital F six times. So that's it. Now we are going to create one uh, splash screen. So for that we'll click on this Java and first package name. Right click new activity and we'll select empty activity. And I will name it as splash activity. And we'll click on finish. And now I'll make some changes in our manifest file. So we'll just cut this intent filter and I'll paste in our splash activity. So this splash activity will open at open up at the first whenever we open our app. So Gradle project is syncing. We'll wait till it get complete. Okay, it has been completed. So now we'll just uh, change this background to our color primary dark and we'll add one text view here. So text view wrap content and wrap content. We'll just constraint it. to vertical and horizontal parent so vertical in parent also and we are going to set one text here so that will be to do app sorry to do app and we'll change text color to white so hash fff or let's pick a value color white and then we are going to just uh, increase the size so text size will be 40 sp so 40 sp and the text style will be bold so text style will be bold cool now we'll add one vector here so we'll just click on our drawable and new vector set and we'll select this uh, let me show you just go here and search done and we'll select this click on ok and change this color to white so i already did and next click on finish so after this i'll just add one drawable right and that will be baseline done all 24 and we'll just add padding to our drawable so drawable padding will provide here 15 dp okay and we'll change this uh, size of our drawable so we'll change it to 55 in height and width also so 55 height and 55 will be width so cool we have designed our splash screen so now we'll just uh, go to our splash screen and we'll create one handler here so handler handler new handler and handler dot post delete will pass a new runnable interface and it will create one method for us interface method that is public void run we'll put here semicolon and over here we'll just start the activity so start activity new intent splash activity dot this comma main activity dot class and then we are going to finish it so finish sorry and over here we have to pass that duration so we'll pass 4 seconds that is 4000 milliseconds so that's it 
our activity splash has been completed now we'll jump to our activity main so we'll require recycler view and card view so we'll just add the dependency so we'll download this dependency and we'll also download card view dependency so card view cool now we'll just uh, change this constraint layout to recycle uh, relative layout and first of all we'll just add one text view wrap content and wrap content we'll provide it id text view and the text will be to do tasks to do tasks and text size will be uh, let's give it text size 32 sp and the color will be black so text color hash 000 and the text style will be bold now we'll put it in the center so center horizontal will be true and we'll provide some margin from the top so margin top will be let's say 10 dp that's it now we'll add here recycler view so recycler view and this will be match parent and the wrap content will provide it id recycler view and then we have to put it uh, layout below text view so just layout below and text view okay cool and we have to add one property here that is uh, nested scrolling by true that's it so now we have to add fab button so for fab button we have to add one dependency material design dependency so we'll just open up our google chrome and we'll search your android material design dependency and we'll click on the first link and we'll copy this implementation so control c and we'll paste it in our build.gradle over here and we'll change this version to 1.2.1 and we'll click on sync now so now we'll just add here floating action button so floating action button first one and we'll provide it width and height as a wrap content then we'll put it in the parent end true and layout aligned parent bottom will be true and we'll just provide it margin of 30 dp cool and we'll also provide it id so id will be fab and we have to add one drawable so we'll click on new vector set this will be add so we'll just search for add and we'll select this click on ok and the color will be white so we'll just write here src and this will be add baseline at 24 so cool we have designed our activity main layout so now we have to create layout for a card view so just click on this layout new just name it as a task layout and we'll change this constraint layout to card layout card view and we'll click on we'll press alt control l so it will format the code and this height will be wrap content we'll provide some properties so first will be card corner radius we'll provide it 8 dp and the card elevation we'll provide it as a 5 dp we'll provide margin from horizontal as 16 dp and margin from vertical will be 8 dp 
so the each task will be separated from each other uh, with the difference of 8 dp cool now i'll just add relative layout of match parent and the wrap content will provide padding of 8 dp and we'll add one checkbox here so checkbox wrap content and wrap content we'll change it so it to match parent sorry and we'll provide button tint to our color color primary dark and then we'll provide id so id will be m checkbox cool and we'll provide uh, one text here one dummy text so will be this is task one and we'll provide padding from the start so the text will be separated from our checkbox let's say of 8 dp cool so we have designed this checkbox and all stuff for our tax task layout so that's it now we'll create one bottom sheet layout for our uh, adding new task if you click on this fab button that bottom sheet will be displaying so we'll create one layout so layout and new layout resource file we'll name it as let's say add a new task add new task cool and we'll change this layout to relative layout click on ok so here we have to uh, so first we'll press alt ctrl l to format the code ok so now we just have to add one edit text here so edit text will be match parent and wrap content we'll provide it id as edit text and padding from the start will be let's say of 60 p let's give it 7 dp and also padding from the end of 7 dp cool so now we have to add one button so button uh, let me provide some hint here hint will be enter new task so 45 dp and width will be wrap content and height will be 45 dp and we'll put it below the edit text so id edit text okay and we'll provide text here that will be save and we'll align it to the parent end so align with parent int will be true and we'll provide id that will be button button save cool so now I'll just change the color of this text to white so text color will be color white this one and the text size will be 20 sp okay so that's it now we can just close this button and uh, let's provide some margin from the end so margin end will be 10 dp and margin bottom will be let's say 5 dp so cool we have designed all the layouts for this application so the one thing that we have to do we have to just uh, go to the styles and we have to change action bar to no action bar okay now we'll just uh, run our application and see how it looks so make sure you subscribe to the channel for this tutorial and for upcoming tutorials so you can see this is working uh, splash screen for four seconds and then our main screen so that's it for this video in the next video we'll start to write code so thank you for watching